Daily, a believer needs God's protection. You need to work consciously knowing that God cares for you and his desire for you is to stay away from being touched by the enemy. How you go about keeping yourself protected under the arms of the Lord is by continuously bearing in mind that there are scriptures that are there for you to take advantage of. Example is Psalm 91 and Psalm 35. So I will be praying with you, trusting that God will keep you protected from the snares of the enemy in the name of Jesus. Let us pray. I pray for you, beloved, as you stand before the throne of our heavenly Father in the name of Jesus. I pray for you even with a heavy heart and an anxious mind that you carry. And I ask that he comes and fills your soul with the comfort and embrace of his holy presence. May there be a deep sense of rest and peace, feeling sheltered under the protective shadow of God's wings, a sacred space of safety, hidden and secure in him, where only he has the authority to give and take in the name of Jesus. I lift up this prayer asking Jehovah Adonai to take away any fear and replace it with his peace that surpasses all understanding in your life. I pray for you that you who live in the shelter of the Most High God and abide in the shadow of His Almightiness, saying, You alone are my refuge and my place of safety. You are my God and I trust you. For the Lord will rescue you from every trap and protect you from deadly disease as it's written in Psalm 91. I declare over you the promise in Psalm 35 verse 1. Contend, Lord, with those who contend with me. Fight against those who fight against me. I decree the angel of the Lord will guide you and encamp around you because you are precious and honored in his sight in the name of Jesus. I commission the heavenly host of angels to defend and protect you just as Elisha and his servant saw the armies of God surrounding them mighty and undefeatable. I declare God commands his angels to guard you and lift you up in their hands so you will not even hurt your foot on the stone as Psalm 91 verse 11 assures. I decree you are delivered from every snare and shielded from arrows of the evil one who desire to harm you in the name of Jesus. And I pray that amidst dangers, the Lord will protect you. He will give you the strength and courage to face them, carrying you through all dangers you may face. I declare that you will dwell in the shelter of the Most High. You will find rest in the shadow of the Almighty, trusting the Lord as your refuge and fortress in whom no evil can penetrate. I decree no plague shall come near your home in the name of Jesus. And I pray God's order and angels to protect you and defend you wherever you go. They will hold you up with their hands so even your foot does not strike a stone according to Psalm 91 verse 9. I declare the angel that shut the mouths of lions when Daniel was thrown into their den begins to work on your behalf as I command the angels of heaven to shut the mouth of every lion in your path. The ferocious beasts meant to tear you apart will be rendered harmless before you. God who sent angels with flame and swords to guard the way to the tree of life in Genesis 3.24 will also send those powerful ministering spirits to block the path of anything that would steal, kill or destroy what God desires for your good. I declare the promises of scripture over you according to Psalm 35. May the Lord contend with those who would contend with you. Fight against those who wage war against you. Take up shield and armor. Arise and come to your aid, saying to you, I am your salvation. May those who seek your life be disgraced and put to shame. May those who plot your ruin be turned back in dismay. May they be like chaff before the wind as the angel of the Lord drives them away. May their path be dark and slippery as the angel of the Lord pursues them in the name of Jesus. I pray for you asking God as David did in Psalm 39 to contend with those who would contend against them. To take up the shields and armor and come to your aid for the battle belongs to the Lord. I declare with Deborah in Judges 5 defeat over the armies that come against you for even the stars fight for you. I decree the Lord gives his angels charge over you to defend you in all your ways according to Psalm 91 11. 
just as Elisha saw in 2 Kings chapter 6, the angels surrounding you are greater than any enemy forces against you. Because you fear God, the Lord will protect and guard you. Elijah was protected from Jezebel's threat. No weapon of vile words raised against you will succeed and God will refute every tongue that accuses you wrongly. I decree the Lord delivers you from all harm and watches over your life as in Psalm 91.14 declares because you love him. For the battle belongs to God and so I declare that Michael the archangel is dispatched along with an army with an innumerable number to defend and ensure nothing penetrates God's edge or protection around you. I commission angelic reinforcement so not even a hair on your head will be harmed in the name of Jesus. I declare Psalm 35 is for over your life. May those who seek your life be disgraced and put to shame. May those who plot your ruin be turned back in dismay. All plans forged against you be reversed and come to nothing. Your enemies will retreat in confusion by the power of the Almighty. As I also declare 9 to 1 of Psalm verse 3 over you, surely he will save you from the foul snares and from the deadly pestilence. He will cover you with his feathers and under his wings you will find refuge. His faithfulness will be your shield. No trap will capture you. No plague will torment you for his truth shields and protects you. In the name of Jesus, I decree the angel of the Lord who encamps around those who fear God will guard you and rescue you in times of trouble, delivering you from every evil attack, just as he shut the mouths of lions for Daniel and protected Shadrach, Meshach and Abednego in the fairy furnace. I pray the promise of Psalm 35 over you, that your enemies and those who pursue and plot against you will be turned back in confusion and shame, helpless as child before the wind. As the angel of the Lord drives them away, I command the angel armies of heaven to intervene and defend you mightily I pray verse 27 of Psalm 35 over you may those who delight in your vindication shout for joy and gladness may they always say the Lord be exalted who delights in the well-being of a servant as he rescues you from enemies praise his glorious name Lord we thank you because we know you have done it we thank you because protection is sure for your beloved we thank you because the enemy cannot overtake Turn that which you have put straight in the mighty and matchless name we pray with thanksgiving in Jesus name Amen I also decree because you love God and acknowledge his name when you call his promises to answer and be with you in trouble according to Psalm 91 verse 40 he will rescue you and deliver you from every evil attack long life will he grant you to see his salvation angels guard you always to fulfill his word i seal this prayer with thanksgiving in the almighty name of jesus christ our lord and savior i decree in the name that is above every other name with thanksgiving in my heart to god almighty in the name of jesus the book of psalm 35 verse 1 this says the lord himself will contend with your contenders and fight against those who fight against you as David pleaded in Psalm 35 verse 1 and so I pray the angel armies of the heavens the host of the Lord to advance and wage war on your behalf against every enemy that assails you whether spiritual forces or human schemers I declare the Lord arises to come to your aid according to Psalm 35 verse 2 taking up shield and armor as divine warrior marching through the earth as he did before Israel's armies. I decree him drawing the sword against those who pursue and surround you as seen clearly in Joshua 5 when the commander of heaven's host come in might declaring neither for nor against Israel but for God to defeat Jericho. I declare no foe can stand against you with the almighty with you in the name of Jesus. I pray the living God will say to you I am your salvation as Psalm 35 petitions as the Lord strengthened Gideon's weakened army to defeat the vast Midianite forces with only 300 million trumpets and touch lights in Judges 7 bringing great deliverance through weak vessels so shall he grant you victory against overwhelming odds through his matchless might and undeserved favor because of salvation belongs to our God in the name of Jesus.
I command the angel of the Lord to pursue and harass every enemy that pursues and distresses your soul. According to Psalm 35 verse 3, as the Lord struck down the Assyrian army by angel death in the night to rescue Jerusalem, bringing 185,000 enemies to destruction, so shall he overwhelm and destroy all wicked forces and foes who will lift themselves against you. Their net will catch themselves as Haman was hung on his own gallows intended for Mordecai in the book of Esther. I pray blessings over you according to Psalm 35, 27. May those who delight in your vindication shout for joy and gladness. May they also say, The Lord is exalted, who has pleasure in the well-being of his servant. As Hezekiah was rescued from deathly illness and 15 more years granted in answer to his prayer, may you see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. May his salvation and deliverance come for you from all your afflictions in the name of Jesus. I declare the angel of the Lord fiercely pursuing and harassing all enemies who harass you without cause. As Psalm 35 describes, I commission heaven's hosts waging war on behalf of your breakthrough. May you perceive supernatural armies invisible dispatched for your defense in the name of Jesus. I pray. You will bless the Lord at all times as Psalm 34 exhorts. When you cry out, he promises to hear and rescue you from every trouble. As the Son of Man was served and strengthened by ministering angels after his wilderness temptation in Matthew 4, may you be refreshed and uplifted by heavenly help whenever you call upon his name in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray and declare the angel of the Lord fiercely defending you from every vicious circle and attack with a sword drawn as seen in 1 Chronicles chapter 21 when judgment on Israel was halted at the threshing floor. As David wrote, my enemies turn back when I call on you. This I know for God is with me. Psalm 56 verse 9 says, by virtue of this, I force all enemies to retreat in the mighty name of Jesus as I pray blessings over your life that you will daily bless the Lord in response to his marvelous acts of salvation from adversity and affliction. You will seek the Lord and he will answer you. He will deliver you from all your fears and trouble. May your testimony resound with everlasting praise in the mighty name of Jesus. I decree the angel of the Lord driving away every enemy as the Spirit drove Jesus into wilderness to be tested and ministered by the angels in Psalm 35 verse 5, no destructive force can overpower heaven's agents, securing your peace and breakthrough. As David was delivered from Saul, so are you free from distress. I declare the Lord contends with your adversaries and solidly supports your cause. As Psalm 35 proclaims, as Deborah sang in Judges 5, so may all your enemies perish. O Lord, angels army fight for you until you walk in lasting liberty purchased by the cross. No enemy can stand against the Almighty who defeats your foes. I declare the angel host to advance as kingdom ambassadors dispart on your behalf to uphold and encourage you. May these flames of fire guard you in all the ways, securing your steps lest you strike your foot against the stone. You remain surrounded by this heavenly host and you shall walk unharmed into destiny in the name of Jesus. I declare God's salvation over your life every day, my beloved. As Psalm 35 petitions, say to me, I am your salvation. May you walk in the confidence of Christ's finished work at Calvary and the Father's unending affection demonstrated at the cross. No enemy can oppose what heaven ordains over your life in the name of Jesus. As I pray perpetual angelic caravans commissioned over your life, carrying breakthroughs from the throne room of grace to you. I decree you shall testify of God's goodness and glory as a result of angelic assistance behind the scene. May your heart echo praises to Yahweh among nations and above the heavens. As you give thanks and bless his name for delivering you from distress, I pray for continual increase over your life and large influence, greater resources, deeper revelation and understanding to change the atmosphere. I declare 
As Elijah asked for double portions and God expanded Jericho's building from cursed ground to restore city, may you partner with angels to extend kingdom impact everywhere and anywhere you find yourself in the mighty name of Jesus. I cover you with Psalm 35 verse 27. Let them shout for joy and be glad who favor my righteous cause and let them say continually let the Lord be magnified who has pleasure in the prosperity of his servant I decree that God will surround you with his favor and deliverance in every battle you face may those who stand for your righteous cause shout for joy and be glad continuously magnifying the Lord who delights in the prosperity of his servant let his victory resound in your life bringing joy gladness and the manifestation of his righteous purpose in the name of jesus if i pray according to psalm 121 verse 7 the lord would keep you from all harm he will watch over your life the lord will watch over your coming and going both now and forevermore as he guarded Jacob from Laban's pursuit and preserve David from Saul's spears, bring in continual deliverance. So shall he protect your life daily in Jesus' name. I decree that the Lord God Almost High is your dwelling place, shelter, and refuge, as David declared in Psalm 91, verse 2. He alone is your refuge, your place of safety. He is your God, and you trust him. I assign a hedge of angelic protection around you today. May the Lord God Almighty stand guard using his angels, Archangel Michael, along with 10,000 angels in your favor, so no evil can befall you in the name of Jesus. I declare you who abide under the shadow of the Most High, resting under the shadow of the Almighty, as described in Psalm 91 verse 1, should not fear the terror of night or the arrow that flies by day. His truth is your shield and buckler according to Psalm 91 verse 4. So I declare be rest assured that God's divine protection is over you. I pray that as Jesus charged Peter to put his sword away in the sheet, trusting the Father for more than 12 legions of angels to defend him, may confidence rise in your heart knowing all of heaven stands ready to respond to God's word on your behalf at the moment's notice. I pray for you that the promises of Psalm 121, the Lord is your keeper, providing shade and protection, who guards your coming and going out by day, the sun would not strike, nor moon by night. According to Psalm 121 verse 6, is your portion in the name of Jesus. As Jonah found relief under the vine's shade, may you find comfort beneath the wings of God's grace. The Lord will keep over you and watch you always in the name of Jesus. I declare Psalm 91 verse 11 over your life as a commissioned blessing, for he will command his angels concerning you to guard you in all your ways. They will lift you up in their hands so that you will not strike your foot against a stone. In the name of Jesus, I declare that as Jacob saw the angels ascending and descending in Genesis 28 and as heavenly messages strengthened Jesus after temptation in the wilderness, as Peter was escorted from freezing by an angel past sleeping gods, I command the angels of heaven to surround and secure you by divine appointment to bear you up continually in their hearts that no weapon formed against you will prosper but you will walk in the fullness of your journey and destiny in Christ Jesus unhindered in the name of Jesus I pray daily over your life the benediction in Psalm 121 verse 8 the Lord shall preserve your going out and you're coming in from this time forth and even forevermore going ahead of you to make crooked places straight guarding you from unseen attacks or ambushes shielding you on the right and left that you shall go out with joy and come back with peace carrying precious sheaves i declare this perpetual angelic god securing your steps without laps surrounding you everywhere you go in jesus name I also declare according to Psalm 91 verse 2, the declaration of faith, I will say of the Lord, he is my refuge and fortress, my God in whom I trust. 
a shadruk mashakan abednego were preserved in the very furnace heated seven times hotter at the king's command as daniel rested and touched inside the lion's den surrounded by ravenous beasts and as david eluded saul's murderous schemes time and again i decree you shall continually dwell in the impenetrable strong tower of god most high in the name of jesus i pray you would daily bless the lord your maker who surrounds you like the mountain surrounding jerusalem according to psalm 121 verse 2 i pray for an encampment of guardian angels surrounding you day and night securing your peace and safety by divine appointment may these invisible agents of breakthrough stand guard over you in all your ways in jesus name i declare that god will keep and protect every member of your household from viruses pestilence and plagues for in the name of jesus you are blessed and redeemed from every curse including sickness and disease despite what you see and hear in the world god himself is giving you grace to believe that you're preserved in your body and you remain healthy resilient and filled with his divine life in the name of jesus i decree this blessings from number 624 over your life the lord bless you and keep you the lord make his face shine on you and be gracious to you the lord turn his face towards you and gives you peace i declare you continually dwell under the light of his countenance covered beneath his mighty hand surrounded by his glorious presence abiding in christ as you abide ultimately in safety forever in jesus name i commission the living creatures described in Ezekiel chapter 1 verse 5 to surround you on every side protecting and overseeing your assignments as these four faces of the lion ox eagle and man move straight ahead without turning i pray that you will advance into your purpose steadily without wavering born up by heavenly help at god's word powers of earth and hell cannot stop what heaven ordains I pray according to Psalm 121 verse 3, He who watches over you will not slumber. Indeed, he who watches over Israel will neither slumber nor sleep. As Christ remained vigilant over Peter through the night hours, securing his miraculous escape from prison, I commission angelic watch over you through all the hours of darkness. You shall be covered by heavenly host when you lie down and lifted up by holy hands when you rise up preserved in perfect peace in the name of Jesus. I decree Psalm 91 verse 4 over your life. He will cover you with his feathers and under his wings will you find refuge. His faithfulness will be your shoulder. I declare an edge of protection, of angelic protection secured around you. Heavenly host on scene commissioned to defend you. I pray over you how the Lord bore Israel up on eagles wings and brought them to himself. May you continually dwell under merciful wings of grace. I pray that the Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord makes his face shine on you and be gracious to you. The Lord turn his face toward you and give you peace secured in his presence. You are indeed secured. As Moses' face shone with God's glory, I pray the light of his countenance ever surrounds you with favor as with a shield. In all of these, I declare that God is your strength and shield, your unshakable refuge and fortress. As you trust him to safeguard you from all harm, knowing that no evil will befall you and no plague will come near your dwelling. As promised in his word, you will be far from oppression and terror, for they will not come near you. With confidence, you'll live boldly and unafraid, knowing that God lovingly watches over you. I pray that through the sacrifice of Christ on the cross, you and your family are under an open heaven of favor, protection and blessings today and forevermore. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God, I decree that because you have made the Lord your dwelling place, no harm would overtake you, no disaster would come near your tent. He will cover you with his feathers, under his wings would you find refuge. His faithfulness will be your shield and fortification against enemies who chase you in Jesus' name. I declare over your life the same promise God made to Abraham in Genesis 15 saying, Do not be afraid, I am your shield and great reward. 
I commission this blessing over you that you need not fear for the Lord God himself will avenge you. He will judge all those who chase and conspire against you relentlessly and unrepentantly in Jesus' name. I declare you are delivered from the sneer of the fowler and from the deadly pestilence. His truth is your shield and buckler. You need not fear the terrors of night or arrows that fly by day. Even in darkness, light will surround you as you claim his promise in Psalm 27 verse 1. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? I decree that a thousand may fall at your side and ten thousand at your right hand, but it will not come near you. You will only look with your eyes and see the deliverance of the wicked destroyed as God disrupts the enemy's attempts of division, dissension, malice, evil and hatred in your life in the name of Jesus. I declare because you have made the most high your dwelling place, because you trust in him, no harm will overtake you, no disaster will draw near to your tent. God commands angels regarding you to guard you, lifting you up with their hands to protect you from striking your foot on a stone as in Psalm 91 verses 10 to 12. I pray that God, the judge of the earth, shall deliver justice for all the wrongs done against you by your enemies. The Lord is aware of the afflictions you suffer from the hand of your enemies. He shall do unto them what he deems fit. But one thing is sure, God will turn all your sufferings to joy and vindicate you in the name of Jesus. I decree you will tread on lions and covers. Young lions and serpents will you trample because you stand upon the lion of the tribe of Judah. As Daniel was protected in the lion's den, so you will be kept safe from all danger in Jesus' name. I declare you set your love upon God and he will deliver you. He will protect you because you know his name. When you call upon him, he will answer you. He will be with you in trouble. He will rescue you and honor you because you have made the Lord your refuge. As in Psalm 91 verse 14, Therefore, I declare that when you call upon him against your enemies, he will hearken to your call and deliver his judgment upon them swiftly. I commission the full armor of God over your life as described in Ephesians chapter 6. I pray the belt of truth will surround your waist. The breastplate of righteousness will guard your heart. Feet feated with gospel of peace will establish your steps. The shield of faith will extinguish the enemy's arrows. The helmet of salvation will renew your mind. And the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God, will defeat every adversary in Jesus' name. I declare long life over you according to Psalm 91 verse 16. With long life, you will satisfy him and show him your salvation. I decree the same blessing of age that was bestowed on Abraham, Isaac, Jacob and Moses. You will live to see your children's children and enjoy the fulfillment of God's promise over many years because the Most High is your dwelling place. I commission the angels of God to surround you ready to go to war against your enemies just as Elisha and his servant were surrounded by the armies of the Lord that outnumbered their enemies in Jesus' name. I commission Michael, the archangel and the host of heaven to continuously watch over you day and night encamping around you and because you fear the Lord he will deliver you from your enemies in Jesus' name. I scatter the assignment of the powers of darkness commissioned against your life. I pray that every labor of the enemy on your prosperity receives double failure. Every war waged against you receives double disgrace. I decree all demonic energies and enemies of progress against your spiritual and physical ambition be put to shame in the name of Jesus. I declare and command every satanic human agent standing in opposition to your breakthroughs be scattered now and I expose and cast out every anti-progress friend from your life. You have no place here in the powerful name of Jesus. I decree the fall and demise of every power of the enemy keeping you low and declare that they shall not prevail. Every force trying to tie you down and hindering your progress falls down and perishes now in the mighty name of Jesus. I command the destruction and demise of every power stealing from you as I decree that their influence is broken and rendered powerless. 
let the rock and fire of God obliterate every weapon of demotion fashioned against you and every force suppressing your elevation in the mighty name of Jesus. I call upon God this hour to not only be your avenger and defender, I call him to move on your behalf and the lives of your enemies and I ask that God Almighty not only opens their spiritual eyes but save them from their own sins in the name of Jesus. I commission the full armor of God over your life as described in Ephesians 6 and I pray that God Almighty helps you and gives you grace to defeat every adversary. I declare long life over you according to Psalm 91 verse 16. With long life I will satisfy you and show you my salvation. I decree the same blessing of age that was bestowed upon Abraham to be yours in the name of Jesus. As I seal this prayer in the name of Jesus, I give you thanks God Almighty for the victory over the enemies of everyone under the sound of my voice. Although the enemy might come against them, I know the God Almighty, you have gone ahead to fight for them as I know they are in your hand to avenge for them in the mighty name of Jesus. We pray with thanksgiving. Amen. Please subscribe to our channel and God bless you as you do so.